What's up guys, this is Aaron with Lawler Computer Consultants and today I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough or pretty much my setup tour for 2014. So here we go. When you first walk in to my lab, studio, whatever, first thing you'll notice is my lighting setup. Uh, I just got these to actually today so I'm going to get a chance to play around with them. Um, these are Cowboy Studio lighting which is not the most sturdy lighting but it's just going to be here in my studio so you know, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money until I kind of really get into learning this lighting situation. So here on my left, when you first walk in, it's actually my closet, which I'll let you guys get a peek in here. Uh, it's kind of junky, but this is my closet for pretty much everything. Um, you see I have some boxes there, old phones, processors. Up there at the top, you see all my networking and cabling, and you get a chance to see some modems, some routers. See, I actually am technology and computer repair as well as consulting. So, you know, you got a chance to see kind of my workshop there. So that's enough of that because it's real junk in there. I haven't cleaned that up yet. So over here we have my stool. I don't know really why this stool is in here. I use it a lot of times to prop stuff or to set stuff up with some of my products. But that's just my stool. Has a couple of books on there right now. That's a book bag full of CD cases. Yeah. CD cases, that's when we used to use them. <laughs> then you got my sneakers there, which I need some more shoelaces for, and my old printer that crapped out on me. Now, this is used to be my lighting system. Yeah, I know, right? Real ghetto. But you had to do what you had to do, so that's, you guys see why I now upgraded to my actual studio lighting. Swing it on over to the right some more. You get a chance to see computer that I'm working on for a customer. See a couple more computers that's over there. And the one thing that you do get a chance to take a look at is my RC car. Which, I mean, I love this thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys checked out the video, but I did a video on my favorite things of 2013, and this was one of them. I didn't get a chance to actually show it in the video because I broke it. Well, I didn't break it, but I busted one of the shocks out on it from jumping it. And I really need to get it fixed, but I haven't been at home enough to take it to get anyone to look at it. So, you can see how beat up it is. You see I get a lot of use out of it. Uh, swing it over to the right. That's the new body that's going to be on it. Shout out to No Future for actually designing and painting that body for me. I'll leave a link down below to his Instagram. Real nice up and coming artist. Also, you'll see another customer computer that I'm working on. You'll see my cheap tripods that I'm using right now, which they are on. I have some new ones, excuse me, on order from Amazon. Um, then you get here to, I guess they say, where all the magic happens. This is my desk. So we're going to start from the left. And you notice my desk is a little beat up simply because I actually work at my desk. So it's like my workstation, workbench, and where I edit my video. So what you'll see next is just my hard drives. And yes, I still have an old school iPod. This thing has been everywhere with me. Uh, I'm going to let it focus here. Uh, whenever it's focusing. And I think I bought this iPod when it first came out. You can see how beat up and scratched up it is. And the reason why I still keep an iPod because it is 80 gigs. I mean, there's no phone out there that can hold this amount. And yeah, I do use Google Play Music, but whenever I'm on the plane or getting ready to take a long trip or road trip and I just want to zone out, you can't beat your iPod there. So, that's why I still actually have that. Uh, shout out to any geek that knows what that is. <laughs> you get some cool points for that. Uh, that's my phone that's bricked right now, which is my uh, LG G2. I love that phone. I got to fix it later on. You guys get a chance to see my Pebble watch. Um, you see my studio monitors, which is right there. Uh, Sarah Vega studio monitors. This is my tablet of choice right now, which is the iPad mini. This particular one is the 16 gig LTE version for T-Mobile. Um, I love it because it's small and I can actually use it when I'm doing my videos to kind of cue myself as well as being able to hand it to customers or grab it and it's real lightweight easy for me to take around. Um, oh, I forgot my Watch Dogs poster. Yeah, I am a Watch Dogs fan. I, that game has pretty much taken over my life so far. Uh, come on around back to the right. You'll see some NFC tags that are there. 
my robot that my mom gave me when I was sick in high school, which is pretty sweet. Uh, coming on around, I have actually a MX mouse, which is, that's the first one. They've since then released like three of those, but I can't seem to kill that mouse. Whenever my trackpad dies, I can always go back to the trusty one. So <laughs> that's why I keep that around. And you see it's fully charged right now. Uh, business card holder for my business cards, which are pretty sweet. They're all black. I really want to do all black business cards this year. Uh, of course, I have the Apple keyboard, trackpad. I have the red scarlet or focus right uh two in to output interface that I use to record my audio and and make you know for my video uh there you go you get a chance to see my asus monitor this one is an actual four k monitor I can't remember the model number on it right now, but I put it down in the link below and I'll link all this stuff down below if you guys want to kind of check it out or take a look at it pretty all of it's pretty much easy to find. Move on over to the right, you see my other monitor, and this is something that I'm starting to really get into now, which is my Legos. Uh, this is my first one, so I will be buying others pretty soon. I understand there's a pretty much Ghostbusters when they came out, but that one is Anakin with R2-D2. Uh, I just like it. It's pretty cool. Give him a desk of a character. You swing over to the right some more. And you get a chance to see my Nexus 5, which is my daily driver. It's sitting on top of the charger, which is wireless charger. It's a Nokia D, uh, DT900, I think. Something like that. But I tweeted that, if you guys follow me on Twitter, they had a crazy deal on them where you get them for 5 bucks, And they're normally 50 bucks a piece. So, yeah, I bought two of them. So, <laughs> I have one in my bedroom that's by my bed. And then, when I'm coming here to work, that's what I was on my desk. Coming on over to the right. Now these two cameras have some sentimental value to me. The Canon camera to the right is my first digital SLR camera I bought. It's a Rebel XS or something like that. Bought it about five years ago. It was pretty good back then, but of course now it's kind of like a dinosaur. But I still keep it there to kind of remind myself, hey, this is where I started from. <laughs> right now I am shooting on the Canon EOS uh, M which is the mirrorless Canon camera. I really like this camera just for the size and the quality. And then right beside it is not my first video camera, but my first video camera I bought when I started doing YouTube, which is a Sony HD Handycam. And I still use this camera sometimes for some auxiliary shots every once in a while. It's still a good camera. The only thing that's messed up on it now is the microphone, which I don't use audio from it anyway. But it's still a good camera. My first camera that I purchased was a Panasonic 3CCD camera. i um, really proud of that camera because I spent like 600 bucks on it when it first came out. And it crapped out after a year. So <laughs> that's why it's not sitting up here. Um, then you can see my El Cheapo printer. Of course, it's just a temporary replacement because my other printer, which you guys probably saw earlier in the video, decided to stop working. And then the screwdriver, which... I was working on something earlier, didn't get a chance to get it put up. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it up down here in the drawer where it belongs. And we're going to go ahead and get you guys to take a look at my drawers. Uh, yeah, I mean my actual drawers that I pull out, not the other kind. <laughs> but you'll see here, again, like you notice, I'm a repair person. I have my heat gun, and then, of course, I have my ghetto heat gun. <laughs> hey, you got to remember where you started from. Before I had a heat gun, I had to use a hair dryer to kind of do screen repairs and things like that so that that's what that's there for um, in this top drawer here which I beat up with my chair it's just cables I'm not as organized as I need to be with my cables but these are the cables that I pretty much use every day or if I'm looking for something I can just run my hand in and grab it you have HDMI's you have I don't know probably every USB cable that's known to man right now um, iPod cables you know just a catch-all drawer pretty much so we're gonna close that up a little embarrassed about it over here to the left this drawer here is pretty much where I have my microphone that I record with have some office supplies some more business cards I have a Nexus 4 in there that's kind of screen shattered never got around to fixing it I keep a lot of phones uh, I, I have a lot of phones I have an iPhone 5s lying around here somewhere it's probably in my bedroom so you know this is pretty much my desk show you guys my monitor again when it comes up yep 
And the background is the facet background. Can't remember the name of that one, but I thought it was pretty cool, so that's why I decided to choose that one. So you guys get a chance to kind of see my my desk, you know. Oh, and most important thing, which I almost forgot, <laughs> is my Hackintosh. I built this Hackintosh about three years ago. Don't pay attention to the wires. I I'm horrible at uh, wire management, but I upgraded this Hackintosh like three times since I built it. It now has an i7 processor. In the process of ordering 32 gigs of RAM memory to go inside of it. Um, you know, just trying to keep it updated. I really want a Mac Pro, but I don't want to spend five or $6,000 on one right now. So, until then, this one has to do. Now, the one other cool thing that I didn't show you guys. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see uh, MKBHD set up to a project. But I forgot to show this machine. This machine is the server that handles pretty much my entire house. It has all my backup information on it. It's an old Dell server that I upgraded. Actually, the i5 that I took out of my Hackintosh, I put inside there. <laughs> and also, I think it's up to like 12 gigs of memory right now. Uh, I forget how many terabytes of hard drive space, but it's pretty boss. I mean, it pretty much handles my Plex. It handles my backup for my Hackintosh. Uh, it handles all my videos that I've actually used and stored there. So, pretty boss machine. I really, really like it. Over there in the corner, you can see there's some pen and some markers, but don't mind it. So, you guys get a chance to take a look at my setup project. I mean, it is your kind of basic setup project, then with some added features, added extras. You know, you kind of get a chance to see here where I work. Oh, I forgot to show you guys some of my things that's on my wall. Uh which here is, there we go all right that is actually a dollar bill signed by the secretary of treasury so no it's not my first dollar that i made like you notice other people but i thought it was a pretty cool piece so i decided to put it in the frame put it on my wall and then my other poster here which i have other posters i haven't put up yet is uh one i think is the musical genius of our time or of all time so far is Michael Jackson. I mean, I love his music. If you know anything about me when I was growing up, you also know another reason why I really like Michael Jackson, but I kind of keep you guys guessing, especially some of my older people that grew up with me and know exactly why I would have that poster on my wall. There you have it. You get a chance to see my setup, have a tour of my office. It's pretty much where I do my thing. This is my living space. So if you have any questions or you want to know anything about any things I showed you today, leave it in the comments. I will try to link everything that's in the description down below. In case I missed something, put it in the comments. I make sure I answer all my comments. Also, while you're there, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make makes it easier for us uh, where we can help the channel to grow. Also, make sure you share it. If you got a friend, family member, co-worker, someone you just met and you think they enjoy it, Share it with them so that way they can maybe get some ideas about their upcoming project or their upcoming setup or add to their existing setup. Either way. So, next time guys, we'll see you. Stay teched up.